390 Wagon Master here. Welcome to another episode of Kitchen Table CB Repair, where I show you how to fix a CB radio with just basic tools. Um, this is something that most every beginner would have, and I'm basically using the test radio itself. I'm using another CB radio for a receiver, and um, you can use frequency counters and stuff like that if you would like to, but I'm using the the little test radio. I also have this hooked up to uh, my scope. I'm sampling it, but you can use um, any type of a frequency counter, outboard frequency counter would work, whatever. Whatever you've got. Okay, so basically I was cha transmitting on channel one, what I thought was to be on channel one, and it was actually eight KCs below channel one so let's let's do this and i'll show you what we've got here i'm going to turn this to channel one i'm going to key the mic this is transmitting at 26957 if you can see that down there in the corner okay that's about eight kcs away from channel one you can see we're not on channel one and i'm keying the radio okay well that was interesting. So what I did is I went to the internet for a little bit of support. I was looking for a service manual, but as all I could find was a user's manual. Now in that user's manual, it did give me some important information, and that's kind of what old radios like this uh, would do. They would give you a block diagram, component uh, listings and stuff, and, um, and what the voltages are supposed to be on any given uh, part or transistor. So uh, here t I check TR2, uh, 3, 4, and 5. Those are receiver mixers, 37 megahertz oscillators, and uh, a local oscillator as well, a 455 kilohertz IF amplifier. That are, uh, are these parts right here, this transistor I've got here, here, over in here, and you need to check these in circuit. And um, I used a... Uh, just a basic voltmeter. This is, I really like this little meter. This is a Fluke 115. I'll leave a link to this stuff down below. And uh, all of those components were right. So at that point, with these having the proper voltage, I checked to make sure that this switch was clean. Um, you can, um, if you have a lot of corrosion, you can get in there with an eraser and, and to clean the contacts. However, I'd be very careful with that. I lucked out. This radio was ex just, Sano, Sano clean in here. It was very, very clean. Now the outside of the radio, that's a whole different story. Okay, so at that point, with my transistors checking out the way they should be, um, I figured, okay, it's probably crystals. So let's try some crystals. So what I used to do way back in the day when I was a kid, back in the 70s, when I would take an old CB radio and that was burned up or whatever, I'd scrap it and I would pull all the crystals out, okay? And uh, I'm actually running low. I've had many more than this, probably three times this amount. But uh, anyway, this has saved my behind. So if you go to yard sales, you see old 23 channel CBs or something like AM radios um, or sideband, doesn't matter, but AM for sure. Um, I would yard all the crystals out. I would also take out the finals and the, uh, the driver and the final audio chip, whatever else I could take out. Um, anyway, so by doing that, really saved my hide on this particular radio. Check the crystals. These things are getting pretty old. This is a 1975 vintage radio. So they're getting old. Crystals get kind of sh uh, shaky and they get uh, they, they go out of spec and that's basically what happened. I do not have a way to properly check crystals here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use uh, a CB radio. So what I've done is, and I'll leave a chart to how these are mixed up at the end of this video so you guys can take a screenshot of that or whatever, but they work in conjunction with each other, okay? So I troubleshot it down to this row of uh, 37 megahertz crystals. And what I'm gonna do for you now is I'm gonna show you, this is the OEM crystal. This is a 37.600 uh, crystal if I remember right. So I'm gonna key it up on channel one. Nothing, nothing. Like I say, 26 and 957, that's about 8 KCs off frequency. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull out this old one. Now this says Uni, 
because this is a Uniden chassis. Uniden made these for Pierce Simpson. That's why these are such a good radio. So there's a 37600 I pulled out. I'm going to put another one in. And I've got channel one. I got my mic in, uh, on the radio turned off so I don't mess with the counter, but there we go. So if you didn't have a frequency counter, just another CB will work just fine, okay? But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you where we're at. We are at now at 26.9656. That's pretty darn good for an AMCB. Now, if this was a sideband radio, we would wanna swap all these crystals out and possibly get a service manual. You're gonna to have to have a lot of test gear and you're gonna to wanna to realign this. But this is a down and dirty uh, kitchen table type CB repair. Okay, now that crystal function is, um, that crystal function is basically, or that crystal we just replaced, takes care of channels one, two, three, and four. So we'll just check this. We know that our channel one's right, so our channel two's gonna more than likely be right. There we are on channel two. I'll go channel three. We'll go channel three. All right, we're gonna go with channel four on the radio down here and on the monitor, the CB. We've got signal there. Okay, so here's, here's what happened. We go to channel five. It's gone. Where is channel five? This uh, should be transmitting on 27, uh, 015, where are we transmitting? We are transmitting on 270038. So yeah, we're a ways away. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this next crystal, another OEM unit and crystal, and I'm gonna swap that out with the same value, but from a donor radio, okay? And let's get at that in there. We are now on channel 25. Let's see how close that old crystal is. Remember that should be, what, 27015? We're at 270158. So, pretty good, not bad. Probably could use a little alignment, but for AM, this is just fine. So we're gonna know that six, seven, eight are gonna be the same ones. We'll just go to, we'll just jump to eight. I'm gonna speed this video up a little bit. There we are, 27055. What does it say here? 27055. All right. Pretty good. Not bad at all. All right, let's go up to channel nine. That will be our next crystal. And that will be crystal, uh, what is it, 37700. So that'll be the third crystal in here. Let's see what we're doing. We've got channel nine. Let's see what that is. That should be 27065. And we're at 27064.2. Totally close enough. Now I have these other ones out here because some of these are frequencies. So what I, I'm gonna do to, to save time, I'm just gonna go down the list here and we're gonna double check it with the CB. Yes, if you have a frequency counter, that'll help you as well. But like I say, kitchen table CB repair. You know, uh, you need a screwdriver, uh, a soldering pen, uh, another radio to monitor, um, just real basic tools, not a problem. All right, so we have solved this issue. Um, also, I wanted to tell you, I went up here, where was I? I was on this one, two, three, four, fifth crystal up here, and I, and the frequency was really, really off. Like channel, I think it was 27, uh, I'm sorry, channel 21, which should be 27215 was really whacked out. And so when I put the 37 uh, megahertz mixer, mixer crystal in, it got me close, but it was still a couple KCs off. So what I went over here and did is I went over here and yarded this crystal out and replaced it. 
and it got me right onto frequency. So you can play around with these a little bit. Uh, you can't really mess up too bad because on this particular radio, they happen to be marked. The last three numbers are marked, but you know, do it one at one at a time. Uh, don't pull them all out and 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 do anything like that. Now, when I first started this, I was a little suspected of these uh, crystals being the issue because I've seen this problem before. However, like I said, I wanted to check the, the electronics of the deal before we go over to the mechanicals of the deal here. And what I did is I uh, pulled each crystal out, made sure they were individually in the proper spots, and they all were. But uh, yeah, the first one, two, three, four, five crystals were totally out on this one. So these are going to go in the round file. And uh, yeah, there you go. So it's definitely worth it if you're just getting into CB radio. If you're new to this, you find old radios uh, and you're going to pull them out for parts radios. Don't forget to pull out the mixer crystals someday. If you're trying to repair maybe an older radio uh, or something happens to the one you're using, um, you've got the parts to uh, take care of that. So I hope this helps. Please leave questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.